Welcome to Mobile World Congress 2024, where I'm delighted to be joined by Hanan Garcia, who's Global Telco Solutions Manager at Red Hat, Ed Dylag, who's Segment Director, Cloud Gaming and Virtual Desktop Infrastructure at Intel Corporation, and Jan Begassa, who's Business Development Director at Broadpeak. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Charlotte. So we're here to discuss the drivers for Network Edge. So first of all, tell us about the need for this Network Edge. Where does it come from? What are the challenges from your customers and how do you address them? Sure, so I guess I'll start. Um, so uh, Network Edge, there are a certain set of use cases that really can't be hosted in more of a, say, a public cloud, right? It could be because of the need for lower latency. It could be because the workload deals with very large data sets, so it's not practical to move them in and out of the more public cloud. Or it could be that there's very sensitive data, so for security reasons, you don't want the data to go you know, halfway around the world to be processed. So that is definitely driving, we believe, the need for a build out of the network edge, which is kind of the next uh, cloud, if you will. It just happens to be at the edge and not more centralized like is traditional. Hanan, can you give us the Red Hat perspective on this? Absolutely, and, and I'm going to add to what Ed was mentioning. So we know that uh, telecom operators have a very complex environment, especially on the network, and bringing technology in the edge is something that they need help with. And, and this is part of what we have been trying to address into how can, and, and again, I want to add to that is the challenge as well, right? They need, they have in this demand for low bandwidth, uh, sorry, high bandwidth, uh, low latency application. There will be more and more demand on content delivery on those kind of things. And we, they need to build a platform on the edge that is able to handle all these different applications, all different kind of uh, uh, requirements on the applications as well. And this is what we're trying to address uh, with, the, with Intel and, 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 and uh, Broadpeak. Yeah, and tell us about yeah. your customer pain points and how you address them. Yeah, so uh, so the edge is a very interesting topic. I mean, it's uh, both uh, uh, a lot of opportunities, but some constraints as well. I mean, the edge is, uh, can be expensive. You, you need to make the best use of the edge. Uh, so for us, Broadpeak, uh, we, so we provide uh, video streaming and uh, content delivery and software solutions. Um, so we can deploy our software on any type of infrastructure, uh, bare metal, uh, SaaS in public cloud, but also private edge like Intel CMP. And um, well, I guess the need for uh, our customers and for us is to have uh, an efficient platform, cost efficient, energy efficient platform. Um, yeah, that address, I think, the peaks of audience. This is where their challenges are. And when I say peaks of audience, I'm also talking about uh, Advertisement, for instance, when you're doing targeted advertisement, you have a lot of ad requests. So we need flexibility and scalability, and this is what Intel CMP is providing. Yeah. Right, so yeah, I'll just add to that if I could. So it's definitely expensive to build out the network edge. There are many, many locations compared to a more centralized approach, right? Um, the second part of that is these environments are typically very space and power constrained. So our customers are telling us we need to absolutely maximize utilization of what we do deploy. Um, the second part of it is uh, what we hear from customers is it's very slow to deploy new services. And that's because of traditionally how those services got deployed. Meaning service number one would get deployed and that was it. There was no reuse. Service number two involved an entire re-architecture from the very bottom to the very top of the, the whole stack, right? Obviously inefficient from a development cost perspective, but also very slow from a, a point of view of trying to you know, get the next service to market. So one of the things that Intel has done, and these folks have kind of referenced it, uh, hinted at it, right? We've developed something called a converged edge media platform. Okay, so what is Intel converged edge media platform? Well, number one, it's a reference architecture. So it's a recipe, right, to help our uh, ecosystem build solutions. It's actually a vertical 
uh, instantiation, a, a vertical on top of a broader platform initiative we announced this morning at Mobile World Congress called Intel's Edge Platform. And our vertical is, uh, I call it media forward. What media forward means is uh, designed with media workloads in mind, video, if you will. The reason we did that is because we anticipate something like 70% or more of all use cases at the network edge will involve video, media. So we wanted to make sure the platform definition accounted for those use cases. Uh, so what we did, you know, drilling down just a little bit, uh, what, what this reference architecture involves is, of course, Intel CPUs that everybody knows and loves, right, Xeon. Uh, but now we have GPUs. We have our Intel Flex Data Center GPUs. So we've pulled that into those GPUs into the mix, and we've wrapped all that into a Kubernetes foundation, right? Uh, but we didn't stop there. We actually created a, a series of plugins that enhance the telemetry uh, for both the CPU and the GPU. So uh, why does that matter? Well, you, when you're trying to decide where to spin up a new workload, you need to know the underlying capabilities of the hardware. I have a GPU, what kind of GPU? How much memory, right? Um, not only that, but you need to know at any given point in time, how heavily utilized is it? Because if I want to scale up something, based on time of day demand, I need to know where I can land that. I can't land it on a GPU that's already 100% utilized, right? So, um, so we've created the, 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 these telemetry pieces that, that lets you do the node feature discovery, uh, the, 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 the monitoring of the system, and the scaling and the auto scaling as well. Thank you. Um, Han and, and Jan, I'd like to hear more about the uh, key benefits for media workloads of Network Edge. No, I can be first. I mean, uh, so I talked about uh, flexibility and scalability and Ed uh, very well explained. I mean, the intelligence that we have on CMP to make sure that uh, leveraging the uh, affinities of the different applications, we can make, extract the best out of the platform. Um, so for us, there is another dimension, which is uh, sustainability. Um, because I think uh, the objective of uh, saving energy is uh, going way beyond uh, the, the cost question now, you know, and uh, so we see that, we see this platform as uh, really efficient in terms of, uh, yeah, in terms of uh, energy consumption. Um, so, yeah, I guess this is uh, something that we, we praise uh, a, lo a lot. Yeah. Absolutely, and it's yeah. a very important factor yeah. indeed. Hannan, what's your take on this? The yeah, well, key I, benefits. I, I will add. I will add to that. Um, into there is two things that we need to consider, right? Um, one side is the return on investment on the infrastructure that they're going to be deploying on the edge, and on the other side is how we help them on you know building more, or monetizing and, and increasing their pool for for the services, you know. Uh, and, and this is what we are trying to achieve as well. Okay, we are trying to help them into bringing the right infrastructure to handle a diversity of applications. Uh, you were mentioning content is de definitely is going to be one of them, yes. okay? But th there is gaming as well sure. and other applications that will be required. So we, we need to make sure that we help them building, well, we have been building mm -hmm. the right uh, infrastructure that they're going to need in there. And this is one part of it. The other part of it is that we're bringing with the cloud platform, we're bringing the agility for them to actually build those new services and monetize it faster, that infrastructure. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. And uh, if I can add to that, so uh, let me give you some example. I mean, we, uh, we can put packaging uh, on this platform. We can do uh, uh, CDN, content delivery network uh, workloads, uh, I mean, video analytics and, and many others and gaming. Um, so I think it's not anymore possible to think that we will deploy infinitely dedicated and siloed application in the network and not we cannot afford to do that at the edge. So we need multi-purpose, multi-tenant uh, applications and platforms. And uh, yeah, this is what video delivery also uh, is in need for. So the and Hanan, earlier you said we are building and that's very important indeed because it's all about the power of collaboration, isn't it? Um, really, this is a story of, well, about the power of partnerships. So, what would you say the impact of the 
ecosystem is for service providers? Well, um, one thing is clear. So one vendor cannot build the end-to-end -end solution. And this is, this is what we are doing with Red Hat and, and our ecosystem. We are trying to bring all those pieces together. The, the CMP reference architecture is, is, is one of those. Yeah. And how we address those challenges as an ecosystem, as an industry, to have the service provider going forward. Yeah, I think, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, the, the commercial benefits of the edge have not really materialized so far. We, I mean, we need to boost the ecosystem uh, big time. And, uh, and yeah, um, yeah, I guess this is really the way to accelerate uh, the, um, the emergence of, of the edge. Final words, Ed? Right, so uh, I want to just be clear, Intel's not getting into the services business, right? Uh, we go to market through partners, through our great partners like Red Hat, through Broad, you know, Broad Peak and others. Um, and, and that's really, um, we find the, the, the most, creates the best solutions, right? The most powerful solutions, the most open solutions. Again, CEMP, Converged Edge Media Platform, is a foundation. Uh, those uh, different foundational layers will be replaced uh, in many cases by more commercially uh, uh, supported solutions, like from Red Hat, for example. So we take open source vanilla Kubernetes and, that get, and we swap in Red Hat because they have the ability to fully support that, that piece of the stack. And then we've got uh, applications like CDN from folks like, like Broadpeak. So, so it's really about the ecosystem um, pulling all those pieces together so that these operators get uh, you know, the best solutions possible. Ed, Hanen, Jan, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Charlotte.